Ashley, thanks for your time. It disappointing result at Birmingham. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think um, you know we, we we didn't think that we performed well. Obviously, it's disappointing to lose any game, um, but we didn't feel that we played well enough today. I think that was clear from the start, especially in possession. Uh, we feel that we've got a lot more quality than that, so um, that's disappointing. Uh, but you know, the gaffer did say after the game we've been on a good run. Uh, you have to lose at some point, but I think it was just the manner in our performance. We expect a lot more of ourselves than that. We did create chances. There were positives before they scored. We, we could have gone one up. Yeah, we had a lot of chances in the, in the middle bit of the first half, um, and they had the chances we've got to take because they scored two good goals. To be fair to them, um, you know, two good finishes, and that can always happen, you know, in football. So when you get a chance, you've got to take it. And I'm sure the, you know the boys that, that got the chances, you know, are disappointed as we all are. But you know, it's it's about the whole of the 90 minutes. I think you know, throughout 90 minutes, we should perform a lot better than that. Yeah, they were top quality goals, weren't they? So I suppose there's not a lot we could have done about them, really. Probably not with the, with the two goals themselves, but I feel if we if we'd have played a lot better, you know, and we'd had a lot more control of the game, um, they wouldn't have got them chances anyway. So it's about dealing with dealing with their threats, and you know, they're, they're not they're not a team that are going to do anything different. We knew exactly what they was going to do. Um, you know, on the whole, I don't think they had that many chances. You know, I feel, feel like we, especially in that first half, we, we broke through a couple of times and had shots inside the box. Um, but yeah, you know, credit to them. They was organised. They worked hard. And they made it difficult. Um, difficult to break down and score two good goals. So. Bolton next. How do you see that one? Well, it's a big game now for us. We need we need to pick ourselves up. You know, we don't have a lot of, of time to recover, so we got to do everything properly. Uh, you know, we're all we've all been in the game long enough to know what our body needs. And then we know we just got to talk about a few little bits in this game where we can improve and and go again and try and get another run again going um, against you know a team that you know haven't aren't in a great position in the league but they're going to make it difficult and they're going to try and win the game as well they'll be desperate for the points so for us it's an important game you know we want to go into the new year you know on a high and um, you know that's that's the game that we need to be winning. Can you remember if you've had much success there as a player at Bolton? Yeah, I haven't played there for a long time. I don't think, but. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm not sure. I've only played there a couple of times, but you know, I'm sure. As I say, they're not where they would like to be in the league, but they've got a lot of good players in the team. You know, we need to expect a difficult game. This is the championship, and every single game, you know, the team, uh, every single time, the team can hurt you if you're not at your best. So it's about you know, we're Stoke, and we need to concentrate on ourselves, get better than we did today, um, and, and you know, get back to trying to control games. And the best way to get over Birmingham is to go there and get the victory. Yeah, we want to win, definitely. I think, as I said, we want to finish 2018 on a high. I think that's important going into the new year. Um, so, you know, we'll be going there with, with our plan, trying to win the game. And there'll be a big following as ever of Stokies at Bolton. Yeah, no, I really, you know, for me coming in, really impressed, especially with the away fans. You know, they travel in good numbers. They make a lot of noise and they support the team. They, they come out at Christmas and they pay their hard-earned money, you know, for us and they come and support us. So... You know, hopefully we can give them something a little bit better than we did today to, to go home happy with. Obviously the dress room will be a bit flat after the Birmingham game, but there's enough in there character-wise, isn't it, to lift themselves up for Bolt? Yeah, we've got big characters in this team. And, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's read the reports lately that I wasn't here before, but it seems like, you know, a much better dressing room. I know that we get on well. Um, a little bit of honesty as well, you know, when, when if you need to be told, someone needs to tell you or you tell someone, and we, we're doing that. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we've been in the, we've been in worse positions this season as a squad than we are right now. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. We know we, we can play better than that. We know we can fight harder than that and play with more energy. So it's just about us getting ourselves together individually and as a team and going to Bolton and making sure we handle our business. And if you can give a new uh, gift to the fans, I'm sure it'll be a victory. Yeah, definitely. As I say, you know, uh, we appreciate it. They, they, they spend a lot of money throughout the course of the season and. They make sacrifices too, like we do, and you know they, they left their families around Christmas, and um, we didn't give them, you know, we didn't give them nothing to, to take home with today. Just just moans probably. So um, you know, hopefully we can give them a New Year's uh, present, and um, you know we'll take that as well.